folks, Johnny here. And I'm sure as you've all seen, we are very excited about the Shadowed Horizons global campaign coming later in the year. So excited so that us staff here at Mantic HQ have been looking at getting some new armies on the table. So we've decided to do a staff slow grow. There'll be more information on how you guys can get involved as well with that in the lead up to the global campaign very soon. Um, but right now, we're going to talk about what uh, certain members of the staff here at Mantic HQ are going to be building uh, ahead of Shadowed Horizons. Firstly, I'm taking part. I'm going to be doing Halflings. I've had an idea for quite a while now to basically make a Yorkshire-themed army. Um, part, of, part of the idea was to do a t Northern t Lions army, um, but also the Halflings, they just, they scream any Shire, Yorkshire. Um, so weighing up those uh, those two, I decided going to take a bit of best of both. Uh, might well be that I ally one in over the other, but to start with, I'm going to be building a halfling army. I've already started uh, green stuff sculpting flat caps on uh, some of my riflemen. Um, so that's, uh, that's going to be a labour of love. Um, and of course, talking of the Northern Alliance, the new uh, Frostclaw Raven Riders look absolutely stunning. We've just had some of the hard plastics in, um, so I've had a nosy at those, and I'm going to uh, use those as aeronauts um, to bring into my Halfling army, or they'll stay as Frostclaws if I decide to ally in some Northern Alliance as well. Um, but looking at those, uh, those plastics, being able to remove a dwarf and, and replace with a Halfling will be an absolute doddle, so I'm very excited about that. The colour scheme, I'm going to attempt to paint some tweed. Don't know how that's going to go. It could look a mess, could look like some really bad camo. Um, so I'll do a couple of testers on that, and if not, it will just be your sort of your standard muted browns and greens. Um, so that's uh, that's my plans um, in terms of aesthetic. In terms of units, um, I want lots of uh, lots of gunpowder, lots of uh, black powder rifles. Um, and go for a more a more shooty army. Um, I really love the howitzer and the volley gun as well, so I'm going to try and get some of those in, um, and just make a, a bit of a, a bit of a firing line sort of uh, sort of army. I don't know how that will play out, um, but uh, it just seems like something a, a little different and a little uh, little bit more unique. Um, so that's my my idea. As I say, some aeronauts in there as well. Um, Probably get some forest trolls because I really like the forest trolls. Whether I have them as just as forest trolls, then I can use them to unlock, or whether I have forest troll gunners, I haven't quite decided yet. The beauty of those models is that the uh, the backpack that the halfling sits on is very easily removable. Um, you could even magnetize that, and then you've got those options to be able to have one or the other. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's me, and I will leave you in the capable hands of the rest of our staff who will tell you what they're up to. Hi, I'm Kay. I work in the warehouse here at Mantic, putting stuff in boxes for all you lovely people to buy around the world. For our slow grow challenge, I'm collecting the forces of the abyss and I am focusing primarily on the succubi. I think they're a fantastic unit. I love the combination of rules, pathfinder, ensnare, stealthy, brilliant stuff for ambush with those smaller sizes of games, I think really benefit from good, solid regiments, obviously backed up by a succubi to keep that theme going. And beyond that, it'll need, I think, some heavy hitters, so perhaps a Cronius, maybe some Mollocks. Uh, the Tortured Souls are very tempting, possibly some Hellhounds as well, just for that speed and send something down the flanks. Hi, my name's Dan. I work in the marketing team at Mantic. For the Staff Slow Grow this year, I've chosen the Ratkin. I've done this because they're the first time I've done a Horde army. I've been working on some Ogres previously for Kings of War, so this is a little bit of a change. Uh, I also like the mix of old, uh, kind of rusty weaponry and new technology and that kind of mishmash within the army. I've started off with my Ambush box, and I'm now eyeing up some Tunnel Runners and Nightmares to add to the list. Hi, I'm Stu. You might know me from such things as where your order comes from, where's my order gone, and who is my order? I have chose ogres because my first choice was gone, but I thought, why not? Let's get the best looking models on an army that I don't know yet. 
I wanted to go for everything that has armor. So all my models hopefully will be nice and shiny. Not quite sure what my capes are going to be, but you can sure they're going to have a flourish. And where's a rabble? I've got the rabble. I'm bringing the rabble. Hi, I'm Duncan. I work at Mantic doing um, graphic design, so sort of colouring in and messing around with fonts. And I'm doing Night Stalkers for this slow grow. Um, I decided to maximise the number of the new, new uh, models that I could take, so lots of Reapers and uh, butchers and, and that kind of thing and I'm going to paint them all red, angry red, more red, blood red. You can hear the voices too right? Hello everybody Ronnie here and I'm ostensibly here to talk about slow grow but as always with me I'm going to chuck in a few hand grenades and little extras and what have you. So I mean first up we're all getting super excited with the ambush slow grow. There's some great slow grows going on in ours. Counter charge. Great way of actually starting to build a Kings of War army. I know lots of you have got them, but picking up two, three, four units, very manageable. So join us. Come do the slow grow. It's very exciting. Also building to huge global campaign uh, coming up in... Uh, oh, October, September, September, October time. Uh, it's going to kick off with Clash of Kings in the UK. We're going to have a massive event with our big flying birds, fly, the Charge of the Valkyries. Uh, is going to be is going to be here at HQ on Friday beforehand, and all these results are going to be going in. So really exciting. So if ever you needed that intensive to just put a few models together and get some paint on them, go buy an ambush set, super discounted. Learn to play, try a different army, try something new. Um, it's all going on. And actually, I've done that. Uh, I might be doing a Northern Alliance army, you see. Uh, and I've got the, I've kind of got the ambush set, but obviously the plastics aren't in yet. So I've, I've abused my position and got some 3D prints of our gorgeous new birds. I've been working on these for a few weeks, but I've not been able to share them off before now because um, they've been embargoed by the evil marketing police who want to chill off beautiful painted rooks and ravens before they came out. So these are the new plastics that are coming out of the Northern Lines. And um, they look lovely. They come with the unit base as everything does now. And uh, they've got unit stats. Where we're going, you know, is there two figures on there or four figures? It doesn't matter. They've got unit stats. And that's kind of the template for these interesting large monsters and large units. And then what I also did was I, I built a unit of Northern Alliance um, Dwarf Clansmen. Uh, and that's a unit. Now, they aren't in the ambush set, but there's no point having a toy soldier company not abusing your position, a bit, is there? Um, they are actually the Dwarf Clansmen, uh, Fury Wild Charge. So if I'm doing a Northern Alliance army, here they are. But they might also work very well as Free Dwarf uh, spearman levy so um, uh, yeah freedom or spear levy so you've got both options there you see being very cunning so that if i don't actually press on with my ambush set um and, uh, and turn it into a full northern alliance army i can actually fold them into my north into my dwarf armies for free dwarfs and at the moment they, these aren't going to have rules in free dwarfs because we're only only updating one army at a time when we do plastics and obviously with the northern alliance that's the last army that's going to get updated to twilight kin which will be at the same time as the clash of kings book so the twilight kin will be in the clash of kings so they'll be up on the companion and uh, on, on in print and at that point if we're going to make any other changes we'll be going back to that once per year change so i'd be very surprised if at least the free dwarfs don't get our beautiful flying uh, dwarfs throwing grenades and spears and, and what have you so um exciting times i think there's go and get yourself an ambush set join us maybe you've got an army set somewhere underneath Pick a couple of units and start gluing it together, getting it together. Try something new. Please do join us in the global campaign. Every army is going to be able to fight. Goodies, baddies, neutrals. Um, and there's going to be a rift, uh, a void opening. Uh, keep reading, keep watching. But the map is going to change again. You're in charge of it. Thanks very much. Speak to you all soon. Bye-bye.